Savers today. I have my bag. I like to do this before I go shopping. Um, when you go to Savers, you give them a bag, they give you a discount thing, and there's a sale today. So I, I believe it's like 50% off of everything. So I'm about to go in, give them this bag. I think I get like an extra 10% or something like that. So uh, yeah, catch me inside. That's what a G I am. This side, I'm about a seven or an eight. This, there is a challenge today. I have to find an outfit under twenty dollars. So that is the challenge. Um, it uh, consists of a top and bottom. If I can get lucky and maybe find a jacket with walk dang under the twenty dollar limit, then I guess I have done my job. I'm a little scared though, cause man, it was just. Whew. Getting in here with a mission. So it's like, let's see if I can do this or not. I'm out of breath, guys. I'm so out of breath. Like, as soon as I got in here, I was just dying. With, I mean, this skirt is nice, but look, there's a giant tear right here. We can try it, though. I think I can do something with this. We're gonna try it. This is $9.99, but like I said, it's 50% off today. And I'm horrible at math, but I do know enough math to know that's $5. So, so far, out of the 20, I have 15 left if I stick with that. I'm gonna look for a plan B skirt, finding a top and a bottom. But I think you can cheat your way out on this one because it's a challenge, it's an outfit. So I could find a dress. I could get lucky and find a dress. This is cute. Like, let's see this. I love daisies and stuff. Oh, and it's from Forever 21. Oh, and it's brand new. Guys, right, look at this. How awesome is this? We found a good... Okay, oh, we're going to try this out. We don't know if it works, but we're going to try. So, what is this? This was retailing at Forever 21 for $25, and here it's for $13. So, again, like I said, that's half off. About six fifty off. There you go. See, I'm, I told you guys I'm not good at math. I don't even know why I went for that one. It's like, in all honesty, I usually don't go for stuff like that. But like I said, I'm just looking at this point at prints and at lengths and stuff. I like this dress. I like this dress. It's nice in a weird, weird way. We're going to give it a try. This one is $7. I hope it's my size or hopefully it fits. Oh, look, another dress. That's new. Oh, look at this, guys. Okay, so we found another dress that's new. This one was $20 from Forever 21 for $9.99. We're gonna give this a try. Life hack for you girls. When there's a dress that's short, sometimes you can put a skirt under it, or you can wear it with some tights and some boots. That usually will save the day. So we're gonna try it with this, too. Oh, look at this. This dress is nice. It was a Banana Republic dress a nice little black dress, but I'm not a big fan of the price, because even if, with a discount, this is $25, we are looking at $12.50, could we still stay under budget? We're going to give this a try, too. You know why? I don't have a nice black Sunday dress. I really don't. So, we're going to give that a try, also. I had, I had a really good, I had a really good dinner, actually. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. I'm going to save this and, and show it to my sister. My sister is into stuff like this. See, I'm not a total jerk. The footage from like the last one where I was a little annoyed. I only got annoyed because she wasn't listening to me. That's it. I wasn't hating or nothing. So I don't, I don't want anybody to be thinking that. This is from H&M. Do you guys think that this is nice? Maybe we could try it on. See how it looks. It's H&M and it's $6.99. So it'll be like $3.50. Yeah, I'll be like 350 with this. This could work. So, like I said, we're gonna do. We're gonna. We're gonna see. Um, you guys are probably like, well, you have so much already in your cart. I do, but like I said, I don't know if it's gonna work out for me or not. And who doesn't like a good sale or something new in the closet? I don't know about you guys, but I love new clothes. Even if it's like old clothes, but it's new to me. Like I'm literally so happy. When I, when I find that kind of stuff. I want a motor cycle looking jacket, but that's not too big and it's not too little, but just right. Okay guys, so look at this. I told you I love moto jackets. This is a moto jacket and look at the color, so cute. This is my favorite color. I think this color is called like, uh, 
robin's egg blue or like a pewter color so i'm definitely going to put this in there this is 13 dollars i found this remember i told you guys i wanted a black one so i found a black one this one's 10 dollars so with the sale today i should be getting it for five dollars it says, I'm, I'm the girl you pretend to be online. It's a little snarky for me. <clears throat> In the morning, I did a detox, which was uh, it's a concoction of apple cider vinegar, water, honey, lemon juice, and cinnamon. Oh, that thing was disgusting. Like, I literally took about, like, three chugs of it. So it was, like, an eight-ounce cup. And I probably got like to halfway, and after that I couldn't take it anymore. Like as soon as I like ingested that, like my stomach just started feeling bad. Like it just hurt, and like my throat just felt like really like acid, like acid like. Like if I like drink battery juice, so it's just like, oh no, forget this. Like I'm done with the detox. It's, like it's not even worth it. My mom's like, oh, like um, there's a lot of people that on YouTube that do it, and it's like if you do it, they start off doing it like once a day. Then, like, after that, they start getting used to it, and then they do it, like, three times a day. And I'm like, oh, I can't do this. So, I've given up on that. I mean, like, the pros are if you do it. Like, your complexion clears. You can lose weight. It just wasn't worth it for me. I was like, all right, I'll stay the way I am, because no way. Like, drinking battery juice is not something that I would want to do. On the first day of school, I go, and I'm like... So this is the story time, okay? So on Tuesdays, the first day of my lab, or what I thought was the first day. So I'm literally, it's raining. It is raining. I woke up on time and everything. I woke up, got ready, got in the car. My mom dropped me off at school. And it was like, what time was it? My class started at 8. So it was 7.57 when my mom dropped me off at school, at school drop-off. And I was freaking out because I'm like, oh my god, it's the first day of class. If I am not there on time, like, they're going to drop me. They're going to drop me from my class. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to be able to have this class anymore because I'm late. So I was literally, like, bawling in my car. I was bawling in the car. I was crying. And I was so upset because I didn't know if I was going to be able to get there. I get, I get off, the, um, off the car at the drop-off, and my mom's like, just run for it. Like, just run to your class. So I was literally just booking it to my class. It's long story short, it's 8.01. I get, to the, I get to the classroom. I get to the classroom. And I'm just sitting in there, right? And, like, they're barely calling roll. They are barely starting to call roll. I don't hear my name. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, they didn't call my name. And I'm here, like, is there a way that they knew? that I was going to be late and they just dropped me already like what's going on so I was like, freaking out and so I look at my paper and I'm like and I'm like what's going on like I asked the girl who's sitting next to me I asked the girl who's sitting next to me and I told her I said hey you know do you know what's going on because I'm in this class but they didn't call my name so and the girl's like are you sure you're in the right in the right room and I'm like yeah isn't the same room she looked at it and she was like yeah this is the room this is like, this is actually the class so I was like, I don't know what's going on. So I'm about to get up and go tell the teacher something because my name didn't get called on. And I'm thinking, man, maybe it's like, they're like racist or something. No. I got the days wrong. So I go to class. I'm sitting there and I'm like, like I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm trying to think like, okay, I have my book. I have everything. Like I am ready. Ready for class to start. I'm like, hey, what's going on? So in my head, I'm like, wait a minute. Like, three things should have went off in my head. First of all, should have went off that the classroom seemed a little different. Like, the classroom was talking about it being biochemistry. So that should have registered in my head, first of all. Second of all, my teacher should have been a man, but the teacher that was in the building that day was a girl. And then the third thing that should have just, like, really registered to me was the fact that... I, like, I, I, you know what the crazy thing is, too? I should have remembered, because I told my mom, I'm so happy, I only have my lab one, one day a week. So it didn't register to me that the day that I had it was on Thursday. So I'm literally there, almost close to tears. Remember, I ran from the, from the student drop-off to the classroom, 
offer nothing basically because that wasn't my class, wasn't my teacher, and wasn't my subject. So I was like, what in the world's going on? So I guess long story short is really pay attention to your classes, your classes and the class session dates because then you're gonna look like me <laughs> walking to the wrong class. And it felt bad too because um, there was like some people who came in a little later than I did and they had to stand in the back because there was no seats. So I was sitting in a registered student seat. I just felt so bad. Like the, like the lady was like, okay, like if you don't have a seat, um, just like stand around the class. And that lab class that they had was a three hour lab. So I was like, oh my God, like I feel so bad. I took somebody to see, this is not my class. So I was like trying to be all boss about it. And I was like, you know what? They can have my seat. And the teacher's like, oh, are you dropping this class? And I was like, yeah. And I just walked out. Like, I didn't even say that it wasn't my class. So I just, like, got out. I was like, you know what? I don't need I don't need to explain myself. I don't know these people. I don't owe them an explanation. Like, I'm going to just get out. But, like, literally, like, I was just dying of embarrassment. So, so yeah, I just decided, you know, that's enough for me. So I'm about to get changed, and I'll see you guys really soon. All right, guys. So I found a really cute leather jacket. Um, it's really cute and trendy. It actually fit me a lot better than I thought it would. It is in um, three and a quarter. And I was gonna buy a jacket, no lie, just like this at Forever 21. I was looking at like 30 bucks, probably. I wanna say. So this is actually a really good find because, like I said, I wanted a moto jacket. This is totally a moto jacket. Wear this with regular shirts like this, with dresses. You could literally wear it with anything. And you could dress it up or down. So this is a really good find. Okay, so this is the next moto jacket that I found. This is the one in the nice pewter color. Um, I feel like you could literally wear this with anything. Anything that's light or dark. It has like a little detail in the back. Like a little, like a, like a little peplum kind of thing. But um, this one is totally cute. I could wear it literally with anything and it looks really great on my skin. I love colors that look good on my skin. It makes it pop. I look way more alive, more vibrant. So this is totally something I'm going to get. I'm going to change out and show you guys the next, the next uh, Okay, so then this was the next dress. I thought it was really cute. Um, it looks cute with tennis shoes. So like I said, you'd have to wear tight so you can't see that. Um, the jacket didn't really go with it for the most part because a different kind of blue but like I said again like the blue look is in well for me the blue look works maybe you can um, try to do it with black maybe I'm not really sure if I wanted to make myself look really edgy probably so this outfit is really cute you know it's like me I could wear it with black tights and black boots or white tights and black boots but yeah this dress like it was brand new. Yeah, this dress is really cute. Like I said, it looks really cute with these um, uh, tennis shoes. So I really do like this dress. So I don't know what I'm going to do for the most part. But um, but yeah, it is cute. So I'm gonna try the next yeah, thing. I'm gonna try the next thing and see if it if it works out or not. But yeah, this one is pretty good. I liked it. I thought it was cute. So I'm about to go get changed, and I'll be right back outside with you. It's our. Ta -da -da -da. But that's not even the thing. I don't even know what that is. Uh, okay, guys. So this is um, the thing I'm going with. I'm settling for. Remember, this one was brand spanking new from Forever 21. Um, but we're right here. It's retailing for $12.99. Today it's 50% off. So I'm looking at about $6.50. Um, this jacket was a cute moto jacket. It's $10, but because it's 50% off discount, I'm looking at it for $5. This is the last jacket that we saw. This is the light blue motor jacket. This one's 30, so it's 650 again. I'm under budget, you guys. So if I did the math correctly, we're looking at around $18. I found the outfit and then something else. So I got I got a bonus then. So I got this would be my outfit together. Actually, I think I might wear this on my next vlog just so I could show you guys that I I actually found the outfit. So I'm planning on wearing it like this with some white tights and some black boots, boom, there you go. So this right here, again, like I said, $6.50, and this is $5, so we are looking at $11.50. <coughs> um, this was a good, um, a good shopping day. I beat the challenge, I guess you could say, so make sure that you 
give me a big thumbs up for that because you guys saw I tried my hardest, I did my best trying to find an outfit. I think I did a great job. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little description box below. I will be having the exact prices and stuff and the location of the place if you want to go ahead and give this place a, uh, a try and see what kind of things you can find. Leave it in the comment boxes if you guys know any other thrift stores because you know I love thrift stores. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Let's network. I will be having my social media in there. Let's be friends. So yeah, I will catch you guys on the next one.